Hello everyone, and welcome back to Virtual Pulse. And this week we'll be diving into quite a few interesting topics regarding the VR space. Ranging from Decker Gear being stamped out of existence, and Apple's new AR tech that was supposed to be leaked this week. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Let's talk about the biggest thing that happened this week, and that is Decca Gear. Decca Gear is a company who revealed a headset over a year ago that the community actually wanted. It is a headset that costs around $450 USD, which would include 4K displays and as well as eye and face tracking, which takes best of both worlds from the index for the hand tracking and being cheap like the Quest 2. They also innovated the way to move in VR by using a hip light tracker for easier locomotion with a Decca move. But why did Thanos decide to snap Decca Gear from existence? Well, from our Lord and Savior, sadly, as Bradley has shown a screenshot on Twitter from a Decca Gear employee saying on Discord, end quote, at everyone, for those of you who have been following the Decca Gear, I'm sorry to say that it won't probably happen. Stuff has happened internally, it has prompted myself and several other team members to leave. It wasn't a scam, but marketing was greatly exaggerated, and the company has pivoted in a direction I'm no longer comfortable with. Expect a full explanation video coming out sometime soon. Those with Deca move with orders should consider getting a refund. End quote. What a bombshell statement coming from an employee at Deca Gear. I do know what was said within Deca Gear, but unfortunately I cannot say because I do not have the permission. But Thrua has made an excellent video on this topic, and the link will be in the description for that video. But I can sum up of what was said within the DMs. Basically, the technology that they're developing was. 1. Too expensive to develop and consider to describe things like the Deca move. And 2. End all hardware projects like at 1 was too expensive to develop and move to a new area that deals with NFTs and develop an alleged casino game. Gross. Like I said, I really wish I could explain more, but I don't have the proper permission to say what was said in the DMs. Like I said, Throw's video has really good information about Deca Gear in those DMs. And it will be in the description down below. Just at the time we're recording today on 12-2-2021, the Decker Gear employee has come up with a statement regarding their message slash announcement on Discord. Within these tweets, WireWiz has apologized for unnecessary drama and also would like to retract the refund of the Decker move and claim it is a great piece of tech. WireWiz will also come up with a video by Monday regarding their actions and comments against Decker Gear. Once that comes out, I'll make an update video when that comes out. Next, I'd like to talk about a rumor from a person named Tyler McVicker. Who is this guy? Why is he important this week? Well, he has claimed that Valve is supposedly working on a strategy type shooter for Half-Life on the Steam Deck. Which then Valve supposedly is rumored to be putting the VR development at jeopardy. But then Valve has come up with an official statement saying that they are aware of Tyler as a hardcore gamer, but he has no inside information about Valve's development within the VR space. Also, Valve has said if anything, they'll publicly announce anything if anything happens. Thank you, Valve, for being transparent. I hope. Now to our final topic of this week's news, and that is with Apple. Apple has recently had their AR headset leaked this week and is something noteworthy. With this headset, we can say it is very compact in size with this drawing. We also got some information regarding tracking and its main chipset. Yes, this headset will feature two chipsets. The main chip will be the M1 chip that can be found in the MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, Mac Mini, iMac, iPad, and the iPad Pro. The specs on this chip is impressive, which this chip will have 8 cores and 2.6 teraflops of throughput, 5 NM processors, and the ability to hold 8GB or 16GB of DDR4X 4066MHz RAM. The other chipset would be lower grade that will manage the tracking with the headset. The power management would be similar as well to the M1 chips found on the iPads according to some testers. The lenses will also handle VR-like experiences which are made by Sony. And this is why they're using two chipsets and then using the M1 as their workhorse to power the entire headset. Also, people claim that the new iPhone 14 and the Air headset will support Wi-Fi 6E technology. And it will have better bandwidth and lower interference with AR VR experiences. And for the supposed release date, it seems like Apple may release this headset in Q4 of 2022. 
Anyways, that wraps up this week's worth of VR news on Virtual Pulse. I hope you enjoyed the show. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe for more news and awesome VR content. That is about it. I'm your host, Sky, and I'll see you next time on Virtual Pulse.